You got shot, cause you're knock, knock, knock. Who's there? Another motherfucking hard rock. Slacking on your back, and cause Raw's what you lack. You wanna react? Bring it on back. Yeah, shame on you when you stepped up to the old dirty bass. Brooklyn, so shame on you when you stepped up to the old dirty bass. Brooklyn, so Brooklyn, so shame on you when you stepped up to the old dirty bass. Brooklyn, so shame on you when you stepped up. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Glass Can Bottle of Beer Reviews. I'm coming with a fresh cut tonight. Um, this, you know, I don't feel like paying to get my hair cut. I just cut it myself. Um, then I did get my wife. Yeah, I got a bad hairline. But then I get my wife to do the back, square it off real nice. Um, funny story, about a couple years ago, about three years ago, my youngest daughter is about 10. And my wife was at work, so I got my youngest daughter to try to square off the back. And I had a hairline up to about the top of my ear. So, it was funny. It's all good, though. Um, what we got right now, um, excited. I've never had this, this um, a beer from here before. It's um, Block 15 Brewing Company um, out of Oregon. Um, Corvallis, Corvallis, Oregon. Really cool can, man. Uh, it's called... Um, Animal Cookies Beer Hop Citrus I, Hop Citrus L. Um, see that? You got your Chinook, CTZ, Mosaic, and Cashmere. There's your Animal Cookies, Crazy Animals in the Cages. Um, pretty cool. 7%. Um, and it's still got that small brewery craft sticker feel but man that's a one cool freaking sticker dude um i said i heard a lot about this beer or about this uh, block 15 i just never had their stuff so i'm pretty excited about it um let's see what it's got on the aroma it's got a cool green tab too well, they just hopefully the beer i mean they spent some money and some engine some thinking on everything else hopefully the beer is good Not getting a whole lot from the smell. Um, it does say animal cookies brewed for the hop loving animal inside of you. This can is packed with sticky, pungent hops and leashes swirling hop circuits of pineapple, tangerine, mango, pine, and dank herb. Balanced with pale ale malt, malted oats for malted oats for a soft mouthfeel and gentle finish. Um, well. I'm getting kind of sweet. I mean, it's real faint, but like a overripe, not overripe, but a ripe mango. Ripe pineapple. Um, not getting a whole lot on the smell. Beautiful color, though. My wife's jumping up for the glass over here. My wife did help me. I think I told you squared squared it back off. Actually, pretty good line there. That's got a terrible hairline. She's got the big old Game of Thrones pounder glass. I got ripped. It's gave me a bad look. So, um, man, such a cool, I love the can. I mean, the can, can art, this thing gets a 10, or 9.8 on it. Um, you can see in the picture what it looks like. It doesn't look that way over here. I'm trying to get a better eye on it. I got this light above my head. But I guess that's about right. It's, um, I, I, I doubt it's filtered. It's just transferred, um, but it's, it's that copper color. Wow, that's different. It's already at four minutes. Goodness gracious. I need to sh drink some beer and shut up. That's wild. It's like really sweet. Like I, like I said, overripe pineapple mango. Really sweet.
I'm getting barely any dank, any earthiness, anything like that. Barely a little tinge of it. Give it a taste. Wow. My first, that's like apple juice. It tastes like a, not like your apple cider bull crap that is going around and they're selling now. I mean, if that's your thing, that's your thing. It's just, I don't know. I'd rather just freaking get some apple cider and put it in the freaking closet and um, let it do its own thing. Throw some yeast in and let it do its own thing for a month. But, um, man, this is definitely, it says it's a beer. It tastes like a beer. But it has, like, when you start talking about these juice type IPAs, New England style IPAs and stuff like that. This isn't, I don't know if I'd call it a New England style IPA. It's, I don't even know if it, why it says the stuff it says in the can. I mean, it tastes like apple juice with a clean beer bitterness. Pretty unique from other stuff I've had. Um, let me try this again. Yeah, it smells like apple juice. It really does smell like apple juice. Um, I, mean, I can get a little bit of pineapple, a little bit of mango, but right now I'm just getting apple juice, man. I mean, it's a good thing, but it's apple juice. Pure apple juice. Winston, get stop eating the animal crackers. It's this dog, hold on. Get stop. He's over there eating freaking cookies off the table. And my wife drops stuff in the morning when she's making the kids um, lunches. And that's what she does, trying to be secret about it. She said the night she told him in front of me, she didn't realize it, that um, she told him that she might drop something for him. No. So he knows all about that crap. I swear. I live with a bunch of bleeding heart little girls over here. But anyway, he takes advantage of it. He knows it. Stop whining. You already ate some, you weren't supposed to eat, you <laughs> goofball. But it's pure apple juice, but then when you spin around, it's got some weird... It's got a weird little dank to it. I'm going to clean a little slide of dank. It's like, hey, I'm apple juice, let me give you a little, a little funk to it. Let me give you a little funk on my apple juice type of stuff. The taste is apple juice. Got a little bit of dank and funk, um, but sweet. It's a sweet funk, sweet dank with the apple juice. Um, bitterness kind of finishes pretty good at the end. Definitely a medium to a little bit of high medium mouthfeel. Good mouthfeel on this thing. Um, overall rating. I'm not really sure. <laughs> uh, I don't think it's in the nine point sevens and up range. Um, it's definitely good, but I'd like a little bit more flavors coming out and and, um, and like dank complexity. It's like apple juice, white grape. Actually, it's, it's in the middle mouth feel. It's a little lighter than I thought it was. Um, reminds me a lot of when I'm brewing, which I, it's really good, but I, I'm trying to get something more complex and different. So, really good beer, um, but not up there in the world class standards. I would say 9.4 on this one. Um, really good beer, just not. I, my idea is world class and like 9.5 and higher um i'd say 9.4 on this one really good beer different a lot of white grape apple juice um so appreciate you watching thank you <laughs>